morning, guys. I'm sorry this video is a day late. This is Riley. Riley took a little fall out of bed and hurt his hip, and we had to go to the veterinarian. He's doing much better. Here he is in his happy place, and I was so excited to be able to have an excuse to get out, even though it was for a little bit of a nerve-wracking reason, and I had to dress like this. That's always fun. Looks like you're robbing a bank. But anyway, guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different today as you noticed I took this planter and turned it from this and of course you can use any terracotta planter as a matter of fact this one was way too heavy so I shouldn't have started on this one and I turned it into this now I'm not wild about this and I was trying to figure out where I had seen this before and then it dawned on me <laughs> Does it not look exactly like Ross's pink shirt? Oh well, I tend to have a ton of pink and purple flowers that I put inside of these anyway, so it will match really well. Now I'm not going to paint the inside. What I am going to do is show you how to waterproof it on the inside. And the first thing you want to do with any terracotta pot is use a spray like this one. Now you know I always have links down below for these items you can purchase if they're still available. This will make your pot waterproof and weatherproof and UV proof. Now I'm putting it on the inside because if you don't spray the inside, what's going to happen is anytime you water the plant, let me put a little water in here so you can see, anytime you add water to the dirt to water your plant, it's going to be absorbed right into that terracotta and it's going to creep out to the outsides. This is so absorbent. It pulls it in and it will go right outside to your work and your paint will start to chip away. Your paint, your decoupage, your transfers, whatever you do over this. So let's spray the inside and I'm going to spray this with two coats first and make sure it dries and it dries very quickly and we can get to work on this. We're only going to spray the inside for now and you can see how shiny this is. The outside we're going to spray once we're all done. So now that this is all clear coated and nice and strong, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the bottom and this is just low tack painter's tape. I'm just going to put it on this inside piece here. I'm using this colander just to keep this lifted up off of the surface I'm working on. Now one thing I've noticed with these, this is technically a paint pour. You want to get everything ready beforehand. That's the key to doing this. And I am using all of Deco Art paints. I'm using some metallic colors, some extreme sheen metallic colors. And you want to play around with the colors that you like. But there are a few tricks to getting these paints to flow smoothly. I'll go into all of that in a minute, but first just let me tell you everything that you need before you get started. These are popsicle sticks. You could use plastic spoons or forks, anything that you can stir your paint in the medium with. You'll also need plastic cups, Dixie cups. You can even use cans that you can rinse out and use again. This is a very thick plastic wrap. You can either work on this, a crafting sheet, or the shiny side of freezer paper. This is going to drip all over the place. Now, it's recommended that you use one of these. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can still use a regular cup. But when you mix your white paint, you want it to be very watery. So I use about a half of paint and a half of water just for this white mixture and then shake it up really well. And here's something else that I really like to do, especially when practicing with these. This is one of those colors that it's almost empty and it's just been sitting around for a while. So I took the pouring medium and I put it in here so that there's like a quarter there's only like a quarter of a bottle of the paint in there and then I added the same amount of pouring medium in there and I shook it up and it's going to make the paint flow that much more smoothly and it's going to spread it out a little bit more and I'm going to put it in its own cup and I'm going to do this for each of the colors that I have. 
and then you want to make sure you stir your paint really well you don't want any clumps or lumps in there you want most of the paint to all have the same consistency these metallic paints tend to be a little bit thicker so I'm adding a little bit more of the pouring medium you can also add a little bit of water but it's recommended that you use distilled water only now what I'm going to do is put my gloves on and I'm going to add all of the different cups together in one cup. Here's a couple of items that I should have known better about because I've done this a hundred times. Always start on smaller pots. I've done this on smaller pots and I made enough paint for small, a smaller pot and this did not cover the whole pot. You still want to follow these same instructions but use a lot more paint than I did if you're working on a large, whoops, a large surface like this. So here's what I did. I took the white paint first and this is going to help your other paint in the cup flow a lot more smoothly. I'm now going to cover the whole surface with this white paint. By the way guys, the last time I made one of these videos, a woman wrote to me and she said, this is so messy and it's so sloppy. And she wasn't saying it in a fun, lighthearted kind of way, even though it's very hard to read what people are saying. She was clearly annoyed. She had a very church lady attitude. She was kind of letting me know I shouldn't be telling people to waste paint and be so messy. So I said, I just wrote back to her and I said, you don't have to do this if you don't like it. It's okay. And she wrote back and she said, you're nasty. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> so so guys, all I'm saying is this is one of the most fun projects you'll do. It's going to be messy. If you feel like it's wasteful, there are so many videos out there on how you can reuse paint skins. So go ahead and look those up on YouTube, how to reuse paint skins. I've done it myself. There's some really cool projects out there. But uh, try reusing the paint skins if you're afraid of wasting too much. Okay, so you can see I have a few little clumps and a few little errant things in here. I don't know what they are. So I'm just taking those out and I'm now going to the fun part. And I am going to go around the outside and pour this paint so that it flows over the sides and down to the bottom, which is really the top, but because this is upside down, uh, it will flow that way. And I'll speed this up just a little bit, but you'll notice very quickly, like I did, I ran out of paint. I did not have near enough paint. So what you do is you pick up your item and you move it around so that the paint flows all over. Now you can see how it is moving freely over the white paint and it creates all of these different patterns. The problem was, like I said, I didn't have enough paint. So what I did off camera was I went and whipped up another batch of paint. And while I was at it, I wasn't crazy about a couple of the colors that I used in here. So I just whipped up a few of the colors that I really did like. And I just kept moving this around until I got a pattern that I was pretty happy with. And so you know, this takes a couple of days to dry, as you can imagine. So you want to put it in a nice warm room, a dry room, keep it away from any pets or children or anywhere where someone might bump into it. And once this was all done, I took my butane torch and I went around the whole surface because this releases any air bubbles that may be underneath the paint. By the way, I added a little more paint down to that one side there where there was some ugly green color that just didn't go with this pot at all. And this is done. Now it looks a lot nicer the following day when it's pretty much dry to the touch. And here's how it looks. Now this does need a couple of days to just sit and completely cure. And then I'm going to use the spray over the top. That same spray that I used on the inside can now be used on the outside. 
You can also do transfers over these. I would wait at least four or five days. You can add a resin coating over them, which will also waterproof it. But these paint pours can be done on canvas, like this one. They can be done on wood, like this one, with a resin coating over it, which is a really beautiful high gloss. This is a cutting board where I did the, the pour over it. And this is something called a Dutch pour. There are several types of acrylic pours pours out there for you to do. So my friends, you can do decoupage over these or transfers as I mentioned. Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. These are the lines getting into my supermarket and I'm kind of curious how you guys, by the way, this is how long I had to wait at the bank, almost an hour and a half just to make a deposit. We are in New Jersey. This is rush hour in New Jersey. I'm wondering what you're doing in your state. If you want to get in touch with me here, comment below. I'm really curious how these other states are making out during this really unusual time. And even you in other countries. I forget that you can see us in other countries too. And I know a lot of us are getting closer to our pets. And I want to know what you guys are doing too. Are you hopefully getting outside a little bit? Do you have a backyard, a patio? The, the weather is starting to warm up a little bit here. Um, how are you doing? I hope you're all feeling well. I hope your families are well. And my thoughts are with all of you. If you're going through some really challenging times, we all are, right? Uh, hopefully some of these videos are giving you a little bit of uh, help or some ideas on what you can do if you're stuck in the house. And I'm going to put a link down below to a page on Canva that shows you a bunch of different color combinations because you might just say, you know what, I really never thought about putting these colors together. Let me try to do a paint pour with these colors. And hopefully you'll feel a little bit inspired. It'll take your mind off of things. We are just about to get a very big storm here. Please don't lose power <laughs> and in the meantime i hope you guys are doing well chin up guys this will be ending soon and i will see you next week with another video all right you guys take it easy my friends bye bye